Good morning, guys. So I decided to do a hangout with us today because I'm off and I've got my little one. And we have some errands to run and some just random stuff on the list of to-dos today. It rained like crazy this morning. So I'm gonna show you guys like the aftermath on my patio. Blew my rugs and my patio, no joke, was filled with water for probably like an hour, but it's finally dried up. These are probably going to make my socks wet. That's okay. So here's my avocado. He's doing pretty good. I really do think that like he needs to be rooted in the ground though at some point. And I put a little rose quartz in there. Then we have some romaine lettuce. And this little cucumber guy has really sprouted up. Had a cucumber once before, but he really wasn't doing so hot. And then my sister gave me that little flower. And we have the mint. We have this big rosemary bush. He's been growing with me forever. I love him so much. And then this is my little spider guy. He is sprouting some things, so I think I'm gonna like cut those off and try to um, propagate them and see if we can grow some baby spiders because that's actually how he came to me. Um, my in-laws gave that to us. It was probably like in November, so quite a while ago. So this little guy right here, well, girl, gal, whatever you want to call her, her name's Lily and she is like my longest going house plant. So I've recently cut off and propagated a few of the vines. Um, here's one little guy right here. I ended up taking three little guys about like him and I replanted them into this pot. Here's another one right here who's like definitely ready to go. But as you can see, he is like thriving. I pretty much only had coffee today so I am like boop, 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 boop. sort of like ready to rock. Also, rocking my girlfriend collective. They're super, super comfortable. And we are about to head to Sprouts. Saw a beautiful picture on Instagram on someone's story of a vegan cheese board and I'm just like dying to recreate it because it looks so good and it's honestly all I really want to try today. So we're gonna go to Sprouts, try to find one of those um, Mykonos vegan cheese wheels or something similar or maybe make my own I don't know I have like cashews and stuff like that so I could probably figure something out but anyway we are gonna do that today and maybe hit up the library since it's such a gloomy day okay enough talking um, and now let's get going <laughs> got back from running errands and it is raining once again. Just made myself a nice little yogurt bowl. It has yogurt, peanut butter, frozen berries, granola, and bananas with hemp hearts. And I've been so into this lately. I make it usually once a day and I absolutely love it. Also, my patio is sopping wet again. <laughs> rain is so funny just showered up and now I'm trying to decide what to make for dinner I have a pretty good idea but I think I'm gonna go put together the cheese board I was telling you guys about earlier okay here we are um, starting at my thumb I have Violife life cheddar and then Mykonos cream cheese fig jam grapes pistachios almonds sourdough crisps and then this is the same cream cheese. I just put a little olive oil and um, oregano and dill on top. And then some marinated olives. And voila, vegan cheese plate. It's so pretty. It's like insane right now. Good morning, guys. Um, I haven't vlogged in about a week. I don't really know why, I just kind of just stopped picking up the camera. I got a little bit busy at work all weekend. Yeah. Selena and I 
are about ready to run some errands. We're gonna take some stuff to a kid's consignment shop and try to donate it. Here's what I've been working on so far. These are some fabric scraps from my kimonos that I'm making into scrunchies. Here's some really pretty bracelets that I've been working on. Love them, they're um, rose quartz, white lace agate, and amazonite. And then here are the scrunchies. I think I have about five of them done, it looks like. So I'm trying to figure out like how to bundle them. There's five. There's five. Mm -hmm. I have a sixth one in the works and plenty more fabrics. So okay. I'm just obsessed with them. They're so easy to make too. And they're just so beautiful. All naturally dyed Can I show with- mine? Sure. All dyed with plants. I think this one is um, red onion skins. And these ones I think are avocado skins. And then this one I think was also maybe red onion skins. I think so. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like this really pretty. There, you can see the really pretty fabric that she's tie dyed and it's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Hello. So C and I just got back from the grocery store and um, Went to Sprouts. Got quite a bit of stuff. I love my Bagu bag, just like a side note. I got it in Austin. I'm obsessed with it because one, it's like, it's just so big. And two, it's extremely durable. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. It's like so warm right here, but my dishwasher just ran, so. Sorry. So thirsty, I didn't bring any water with me on our adventure. Okay, first of all, got some, so wet, what the heck? Um, BOGO olive oil. Go through a lot of olive oil because you know I married an Italian and that's what he loves. A can of garbanzo beans, which I was trying to get a few, but there was only one for some reason. Um, I got miso. I'm gonna make some miso soup, miso um, cheese, miso stuff. I got two cups of this forager cashew gurt. I really like the other one, um, GT's, but it's really, really expensive and it's just like basic yogurt. And this is also like basic yogurt and that one has like a coconut base this one has cashews and coconut so i've kind of been thinking i've been drinking a lot of coconut milk and consuming a lot of coconut fat in general so i'm trying to like be more mindful of that um speaking of coconut coconut water was on sale use those in juices sometimes smoothies um Lemons for juices, sauces, whatnots. Lime for the same thing. Ginger for the same thing. Garlic to roast up for some potatoes I'm making. Apple also for juices and whatnot. Um, I have some romaine. Been really into this salad using bonza bean pasta, romaine, tempeh, sauerkraut, um, and like this homemade ranch that I've made. It's it's really really good. Um, spinach, smoothies, juices, Brussels, they're like one of my favorite green veggies. And then a couple of avocados, you know, for the healthy fats and um, salads, accompaniments to lunch, dinner, stuff like that. Just got a new wide angle lens for the camera. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys the difference. Hey. 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 If I could travel through time, I think I would tell myself from And 
just a place where I Okay, now that it's all blended up, take a Tupperware, like a bowl or a dish or something. Um, I use this bag, which is a produce bag, but it's so finely meshed that I feel like it works really well. There's dog fur on it. I got this one initially a long time ago. It's been used a thousand times for making juice, but I don't feel like these work as well as these meshy ones just because it's harder for you to get the milk through the fiber because it's a little bit you know more uh built i guess you want to say more woven more thread counts but this is better because it just goes right out and it takes like one second so after i'm done doing this um we're going to have a lot of meal left over in the bag i'm going to take that out and put it in tupperware and then later on tonight i'm going to Put it in the oven at a really really low temperature and kind of let it dry out so to speak that way i can use it for something probably like cookie or dessert related and then i'm going to take a portion of the smoke and i'm going to put it in my fridge just in case i have a recipe or something that calls for milk of any kind so i'm going to do a plain version and then i'm going to in a second show you guys what i mix in to kind of make a tonic usually this little guy does well it's like i think like a little over a cup pour that in there and the rest is going into the blender so i'm also gonna add a little bit of maple syrup always get this really big one at costco when it comes to mock i only get a tiny tiny bit I feel like I know I'm a little bit sensitive to it, so I'm okay with just like a tiny bit, but I think you can add up to a teaspoon if you want. And then for the cacao, I usually do a little bit more, like probably about a teaspoon or so. And that's it. Now we are gonna blend it up. I need a little bit less than three cups and it, just looks so yummy. Kind of like chocolate milk, but like, you know, healthy. Takes a little bit of time, of course, to make fresh nut milks, but it is so good. And it's awesome because when you think about it, you know exactly what's going into it. You know exactly how it was made. You know exactly where your almonds came from. You got to actually like look at them and stuff. No preservatives, which the downside to that, of course, is you have to drink it quickly but it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, if you guys try it, let me know how it goes because I would love to hear about your nutting experiences. What you don't see is what you believe, but to be is the place where the angels dance. What you don't hear is the voice of fear. When you get past that is when your life appears. What you don't touch is what you won't clutch, but your latch on tight when the coast is clear. If I could travel through time, I think I would tell. Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Um, here we are again, Friday. It's been about a week since I've actually picked up the camera. Still wearing my hair on top of my head with my scrunchie. Girlfriend collective leggings, cause we're gonna go work out. I have been sewing all my scrunchies got quite a few going on down here also finished making a whole bunch of jewelry which i'm like so excited about they're all so pretty we have the black tourmaline the selenite amazonite rose quartz white lace agate and these really cute vintage earrings that i'm gonna wear someday i'm just trying to um style them with something that I'm gonna hopefully find at a thrift store. I'm trying to manifest that. But yeah, love the earrings too. Derek mentioned to me last night, he thought they looked like a yoga pose, and I was like, it does, it looks like little people are meditating. So that's awesome. 
Artie's just chilling on our new mattress. We had a delivery yesterday. We got a new mattress, the bear mattress. So I've been having a little bit of dandruff lately. Made this the other day and it worked really, really well. It's basically three ingredients, apple cider vinegar, like almost all the way to the top, about a teaspoon or so of olive oil, and then five drops of tea tree oil. And I'm just like gonna spray it throughout my hair and leave it on for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to rinse it out with my condition, my shampoo and my conditioner. But it really helps kind of like refresh the skin on my head. This is the shampoo I've been using and I've tried it a few times and it's actually really, really nice. I think it works really well. It actually smells really good too. They have it at Sephora. I wanted to get it from Sephora just for the sake of points, but they also had it on Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper and I knew it would get here quickly, so. I also picked this up today. It's a brand I haven't tried. It smells really, really nice. Uh, recently I've just been using a blend of lavender essential oil and jojoba oil. It doesn't really work that well, so this stuff I tried today, I didn't feel as smelly as normal. So, so far, I am pretty impressed with it. Also just made some chamomile tea. I've read that chamomile tea is really good for muscle spasms. It acts as a natural muscle relaxer, which is something I am struggling with lately. Hey, from the start, hey, I'm glad you're back with your bitch. I mean, who would want to hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put the sink in single and worry about a ring on my finger so you can tell your friend, shoot your shot when you see him. Okay, he already in my DMs. Good morning everybody it is Wednesday it is a new week since I left you last and today we are going to plant some little plant vines that I propagated and we are also going to transfer two plants that have been growing for probably like a month and a half now into one pot so they're just going to be a happy little plant family and then we're going to cut some more one from my spider plant and one from my viney plant and we are going to propagate more in water. So these two fellas are going to become one in this vase. And then these two little plant guys are going to go together in that vase. And then this guy is going to go in one of these terracotta vases after I remove those. And this little guy he has a lot of little babies and I think the trick is cutting it really really close to the edge and then propagating it in water or so that is what I am told. My little avocado guy is just doing so well. We have tons and tons of romaine also. So from the past You'll be fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a little clipping. I usually just try to do it where there's like a little bit of space. And I'm gonna take one more from this side. And this one has like a lot longer of an area to be into the water. Then I took the spider guy from outside and I just cut it kind of close to the edge. And here we are. All the plant babies. Hi guys, good morning. It's Thursday, July 11th. I'm kind of just starting my morning very slowly. I had a little coffee and I've been reading a little bit of my magazine. I'm trying to maintain a really positive mindset and it's been a little bit hard lately because I've had a lot of pain going on in my back. Honestly, I think it's just like a pinched nerve 
that's working its way out. It's been going on for a while now and I've been trying to do what I can as far as like natural remedies and um, certain things for inflammation and it really dawned on me last night. I was reading a book called The Energy Coats and there was a section about how when your body's pH is off or you are in a more acidic state versus an alkaline state, a lot of the energy inside of you burns, I guess not burns off, but it works really hard to try to get your body back into the correct pH. So your energy is getting spent on that instead of working on healing. So that really sat with me and the next portion of the book she was talking about your diet. And I feel like diet has always been important to me. Not like going on a diet, but like what you're feeling yourself with. And I was vegan for about a year and a half and just recently I decided first step was trying eggs again. And it was wonderful and absolutely just like lit up inside. It literally warmed my soul and I genuinely felt awesome. So that was a good first step and I've consistently been eating eggs now for a few months. Um, it took me a while to really step into trying other things. I ended up trying some salmon out and it was really good. I've had salmon several times. Not every single day but enough to where I've incorporated it back into my diet, but then I worked my way up to trying dairy again. It's one of those things with dairy where it's like, I know it's bad. Even before I was vegan, I know that dairy did not affect me positively. I had done the Whole30 and as soon as I incorporated dairy back, I noticed issues in my stomach, I kind of felt like flashes of hotness, and the main thing was I would break out. Um, but for some reason, like, I just tried it once, and after that, it really is sort of, like, addicting. It's like, oh my god, this is so good. Like, there's nothing like this real cheese. It is so delicious. Like, I love it. I want to have more and more and more. Like, I want cheese boards. I want wine. I want, I want to try all the cheeses. I want grilled cheese. Like, I want pizza. And what started is just, like, Oh, I'm gonna try a little bit. It's like the next day I tried more and the next day I continued and the next day I let myself do it again. And then there's a point where I told myself, why are you doing this? Like my inner voice was like, why are you eating this food? And I just sort of ignored it, which you should never ignore what your body's telling you, but for some reason, I didn't care because it was so good. So I was eating a lot of dairy. Um, I decided to try collagen. So every single day for like the past month probably, I've been making collagen MCT blended coffee every morning. And collagen, if you don't know, is derived from beef. And then I decided to try some chicken. So I started just like letting go of those limitations that I felt about being vegan. And then I said, oh, I'm gonna be maybe vegetarian, pescatarian. And then I just thought, you know what? I don't want any more limitations on my diet. Like. I want to be able to be free to just eat whatever I feel like I need to eat. To me, it was really liberating. But after reading that book last night and seeing that she had said the main things that put your body into an acidic state are animal proteins, dairy, grains, caffeine, alcohol, sugar, the list does go on, but those are the main things that I consume. It just dawned on me. It's like, no wonder my back's not feeling better. I have been eating all these things 
and I have been denying myself a lot of the nutrition that was provided on a plant-based diet so it really clicked to me and then um, I woke up this morning and I started dabbling through this while I was drinking my coffee and there was first of all a great little compilation of different athletes who eat a plant-based diet and a lot of the common grounds was the fact that the plant-based diet provided a lot of anti-inflammatory benefits so I thought okay it's coming up again like the idea of eliminating these things is possibly the key to allowing my body to alkalize again and provide a lot of relief for all this inflammation I'm feeling. But back to this magazine, it is so cool. There's a lot of coupons in here. There's a lot of um, really fun recipes, especially like dessert recipes. And it's a lot of just like really fresh whole ingredient foods. So I'm definitely going to pick through this and try some of these out. Derek and I also went to the library the other day and I picked up a couple books. I was really drawn to this one. You are your choices. And it's really funny because I haven't really got too far into it, but as far as the first couple of chapters, they really are very parallel to certain things that have come up recently for me. Be true to all your choices, be responsible and say no. I'm trying to realize the power of being able to say no because by saying no, you're saying yes to a lot of other things. That's something I recently heard in a TED talk or a podcast that Derek sent me and I really feel like that is so true. The other book I got is this numerology book, which I really absolutely know nothing about, but was in the realm of astrology and just kind of like um, the energy behind numbers so I'm pretty excited to dabble into this and find out a little bit more about myself also want to show you guys a couple things that I did get at the thrift store yesterday picked up the shirt which I'm planning on cropping and then putting like a little elastic on to wear with my high-waisted black pants been trying to gravitate my color palette a little bit more towards like red black and white I'll tell you more about that soon in a style video to come it's gonna be all about styling for your sign um, specifically your sign in Jupiter because wearing and presenting yourself a certain way not for every single sign but for a lot of the sign can really draw in like luck and what you desire this one's also just a basic black. Um, I'm gonna do a little DIY because as you can see, this guy is long, so long. So what I really wanna do is do like a bodysuit thing. Then I got this red tee. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it like this just to be able to tuck into jeans and stuff or if I'm going to crop it a little bit. I haven't honestly completely decided. I've also considered like doing some type of embroidery I don't know exactly what. Sometimes you can find a lot of basics, but sometimes the quality and the condition's really iffy. But I've had very good luck at the Salvation Army in Clearwater. They have tons and tons and tons of tees just like, that look like they've never been worn. I picked up a white one that's literally the exact same, exact same brand, exact same cut, everything. It has a little bit of detail, but just in black. A little basic kind of um, 90s inspired it definitely reminds me of my childhood I feel like camis were like a thing I don't know why I just saw this and I was like oh I'm getting this for a trip to Cali my daughter and I are going to California in I guess a week now yeah a week from today and we're gonna visit my sister she lives in um, like outside of San Francisco, Sacramento, like kind of in the middle there. So I'm really, really excited to see her. I'm really excited to get back to California and I'm really excited for Selena to see California. And this one is definitely my weirdest, like 
most out of my element find but I just love the print I don't know I saw this print and I was like this is so perfect so I thought I would tie it up with jeans I don't know if it's vintage or not seems like it's pretty old and grammy but I love myself a good grandma button-up shirt so <laughs> This vlog has been going on for weeks and weeks, so I'm gonna end it here. And then I will catch up with you guys in a couple videos that are coming out. And also we're gonna be vlogging in California. So I hope everybody has an awesome day, really good week. I hope everybody takes care of themselves and listens to their body. If something isn't right and it doesn't feel right, just don't do it.